meet Mr. Blunders. Off to work, and as usual, lots on his mind. The sort of chap you could bump into at any time. I don't know how she does it. I mean, how can anyone spend that amount of money? What does she do with it? Must be sending food parcels to her mother. Petrol. Let's get some petrol. Oh, no. I just remembered her mother's coming this weekend. Blooming women, who needs them? Oh, <laughs> do you, I say. Oop. You might meet Mr. Blunders on your way to the shops. And no matter how well you think you know the road, no matter how sensibly you drive, Mr. Blunders could be round the next corner. That's why you should always wear your seatbelt. Even on the shortest trips, beware of the blunders. Clunk, click. Today, Mrs. Blunders is off to the shops. So naturally, she's got a lot on her mind. After all, she mustn't forget anything. And what about a nice bit of fish with white sauce? Oh, no, no, we had fish yesterday. Oh, dear. Oh, look, Wilson's have got a sale. <laughs> that reminds me. I, ooh, I must phone the vet. Spaghetti with Brussels sprouts. No, no, no I'll, I'll go to the butcher's first. Oh, bother, they're closed. Well, it'll just have to be fish. You'll never notice. You might meet Mrs. Blunders driving down the high street. And no matter how well you think you know the road, no matter how sensibly you drive, Mrs. Blunders could be round the next corner. That's why you should always wear your seatbelt. Even on the shortest trips, beware of the blunders. Clunk, click. Ah, Pelican Crossing. The light's green. Carry on, Jones. Don't panic, don't panic! Captain Manning, the light's flashing. What do we do? We, uh, we, uh, we, we... One continues to cross. If one's already on the crossing, there's plenty of time. Precisely. Carry on, Jones. One shouldn't start. One shouldn't start to cross. That's wrecking, Wilson. That's wrecking. The flashing green man means don't start to cross the road. Learn your blinking pelican signals. It's the pelican crossing. <laughs> When the red man's on, pedestrians wait, cause drivers may go, is what the green light states. Just press the button and you soon learn. The green man's on and it's your turn. And when the green man's flashing and the amber too, this is what you gotta do. Pedestrians don't start to cross, your life's more important than the time that's lost. Drivers, just you listen here. Only go ahead when the crossing's clear. When you walk and when you drive, obey the pelican and stay alive. Learn how to use the pelican crossing. Come on, come on. Get your eyes tested, Napoleon. Can't you see the lights have changed? The flashing amber light on a pelican crossing means you can only go to crossing clear, Miss Rogers. Well, I'll soon clear it, all right. You're not meant to edge forward and harass the pedestrians. Who says so, the vicar? Actually, sir, no. I say so. Oh. The flashing amber light means don't go unless the crossing's clear. Learn your blinking pelican signals. Someone watching this program is going to be burgled tonight. Who? Where? When? There's no way of knowing until it happens. But when it does, you could be the first to know. Remember, if it opens, lock it. Lock it. Lock it. Not everyone in a supermarket is there to shop. At least, not from the shelves. Make sure your purse is out of sight. 
Don't make it easy for the thief. Watch out for your purse before someone else does. So I said to her, I said, if that's how you feel, I don't know what you mean. She said, I said, oh, yes, you do. She knew all right. Anyway, to cut a long story short, oh, my purse. Look after your purse before someone else does. Can you describe it, colour? Um, I mean, a bike's a bike. How do you describe a bike? Big, awkward looking handlebars. I don't really know what they're called. Got a lot of parts on it. If you have a bicycle but can't really describe it. No, I'm sorry. I didn't lock my bike. I didn't think it necessary. I just left it in my back way. And, and you leave your bike without a lock? Uh, I'd rather not see what's in the saddlebag. It's personal. And leave valuables in your saddlebag? I didn't know there was one on it. What's the frame number? And you can't even remember the frame number. Didn't you think to lock it, sir? <laughs> no. No one locked bench it round here. Well, somebody pinched it, didn't they? You may well lose your bike for good. This is the second bike in two years. You think you'll be able to find it, mister? You not believe this, sir. Someone's just nipped me bike. It's very likely that 400 of you will be injured in your cars tomorrow. You'll be within six miles of home and doing less than 30. And it's going to happen to a lot of you ladies. You'll be shopping, collecting the kids, going to the laundrette. For some of you, the face you'll start out with in the morning won't be the same face you end up with by the evening. Why let it happen? Clunk, click, it's so simple. Clunk the car door, click the seat belt. Even if you are just going round the corner, clunk, click, every trip. If you mix cross-ply and radial tyres on the same axle or use cross-ply on the rear when you've radials on the front, you might not live to regret it. Cross-ply and radial tyres. Check how you mix them. It can happen anywhere to anyone. An ordinary street a moment's thoughtlessness. If there isn't a crossing nearby, be extra careful. Use your eyes and ears before you cross the road and all the way across. You can't argue with a car. Eyes and ears. It's your lookout. Today's traffic, today's driving, problems, not if you're in control, but are you? Make sure you can cope. Keep your distance. Next time you go out in the dark, get yourself noticed. Wear something light, something reflective or carry a newspaper. Just get yourself noticed. Wear something light. Hey, you two, come here. How old are you? Nine. Well, if you want to live to be 10, you better learn to stop at the curb. And I mean stop, right? It's part of the Green Cross code, so use it. It's a lifesaver, believe me. OK, nothing coming. Now go. Get the picture? Take it from me. Be smart, be safe.